Hello, today I'm going to be featuring Animal Tarot Card by Dream Virtual. Now, I bought these cards because they have wonderful energy to it. They're very colorful and lively and just beautiful. Um, this is what the back of the card looks like. So it has this beautiful kitten or cat, a white cat, sitting on a throne. Lovely decoration, very ornamental. Um, now the cards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be starting with the Major Arcana. I'm going to read the title that she had put on the top here. And then I'm also going to tell you what animal she portrayed in the photo. And I'm going to go a step further and and I'm actually going to read one sentence, the beginning sentence of the car, um, because it has a wonderful, um, inspiring message. So this is the dreamer, and we have a shepherd puppy. She wrote, you're starting a new adventure. And I'm just going to go through every single car so you get to look at it and enjoy them and determine if that's something you want to add to your collection. We have the Magician car, and it's a unicorn. It says there's a magic in the air you can manifest. Mm -hmm. And the next car is the High Priest. As the High Priest, she has an owl. This is a time to pause and reflect. Do not take an action. For the Empress, we have an Angora Rabbit. Time to hop into action. The Emperor is a Deer Mouse. And it says structure and organization are important right now. We have Unity. And it's a Polar Bear. Embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. Number six. The Lovers, and we have Flamingo, and it says, True and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. For the Chariot, we have Arabian Horses. Um, you can successfully balance various or opposing energy all once through the determination of and focus. Number eight, the Justice. We have an Elephant. It says, fair decision will be made after all evidence is reviewed impartially. The Hermit. We have a firefly. And it says, take time for contemplation to retreat and go within. Number 10, the wheel. And we have reindeer. And it says, expect a sudden positive change in your life. Number 11, the strength, and we have a Maasai lion and lamb, and it says true strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. Number 12, awakening, and the, we have a giraffe. Look all things in a different way, and all will make sense. Number 13 is the release, and this beautiful peacock. It's time to release the past and move on to something new. Number 14 is a ba it's balanced and it's represented with a zebra. And it says, by emerging various points of view, you could generate an extraordinary, extraordinary new idea. Ooh. Number 15, the eagle, represented by a Siamese cat. You may feel that you're trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Number 16, life experience, and it's a cuckoo. Important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action. Number 17, the star, and it's an or aureole, and it says you're about to take a big leap forward in in your life. Number 18, the moon. And it's a lynx. It's important that you trust your intuition. Number 19, the sun, represented by a blue bird. And it says your plan will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. I love these messages. They're so positive. We have number 20, and it's Renewal, and it's represented by Raccoon. 
It's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited to you. Oh, the world. And it's a Chaplin Chap Dog. And it says, Congratulations on successfully com accomplishing what you set out to do. Ain't those beautiful, colorful image? Mm. And then it move into the other cards, and she represent them by um, different seasons. So she starts this one with spring, and this is the ace of spring, and it's a white tiger. Her message that she wrote here is, a wonderful new opportunity represent itself. The two of spring, and it's a pelican. And your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause have brought you success, great success. The Three of Spring is a seed girdle, and it says stop to take time to review and make long-term plans, capitalizing upon your past successes. The Four of Spring, and we have orders. It's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. Five of spring is rams. Occasionally, you may experience clashes with others. Six of spring, and it's a rescue dog, a mixed breed. You may receive a promotion, be chosen for a scholarship, or find that you sign, you single out for special recognition. Mm. Seven of Spring is a gecko. Be assertive, believe in yourself, and don't let anyone take away your personal power. The Eight of Spring is represented by bees. You have been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. The Nine of Spring is a galleys. Um, you have worked hard, and what you create is impressive and worthy of protecting. The Ten of Spring is a St. Bernard dog. You have been working far too hard, and the stress will soon become too much. And then it goes into Princess a spring and it's a, a monarch butterfly that she represent here Cre and her message said creative opportunity that you feel passionate about are fluttering your way and then instead of knights it's a prince of spring and she put a dolphin the message is an opportunity arise that needs your attention right away and the Queen of Spring, which is the same image that she puts on the back of the car. So obviously she's very fond of that and I love cats. So this is actually a Persian cat. And it says, don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dream. The King of Spring. And we have a Katang Katangan lion. And the message is now your moment to step up to leadership role. If we move on to the next season, which is summer, and this is the Ace of Summer car, and it's represented by a dove, a dove, which is the white bird, and this is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. Oh, how beautiful this image! Oh, very colorful. And we have the two of summer represented by love birds. You're falling in love or experiencing a deepening. Of emotion in your current relationship more birds beautiful three of summer and it's represented by hummingbirds you have an exciting exciting reason to celebrate such as engagement wedding graduation or birth announcement the fourth of summer and we have a turtoise turtoise your responsibility may distract you from noticing all gifts that God is representing to you. The five of summer, and we have the dragonfly. 
Focus upon facts that God loves you and always have highest of intention for you. Love the message. Six of summer and it's goose. And we have the love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return to do it. The seven of summer, more cats, and these are Maine Coon kittens. It's time to stop procrastinating and make a decision that you can move forward with a priority. The eight of summer, and it's kangaroo. You feel that there's more to life than what you're living, so it's time to move on. Nine of summer, and it's a Pomeranian dog. Now the time when your dream come true. Ten of summer, and we have prairie dogs. And it's time to express your love and appreciation for family. Be a relative or a chosen family or close friends. The princess of summer, and it is a deer. The deer says you can expect a kinder, a kindle. I'm sorry, I'll read that again. You can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or close platonic friendship. Prince of Summer and it's a frog. A deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Ooh, how romantic. The Queen of Summer, and it's a swan. This is a time of deep emotion and heightened intuition that you can trust completely. The King of Summer, and it's penguins. A trustworthy person or relative enter your life. The next season we have is winter. This is the Ace of Winter car, and it's represented by a panda. Implementing of your brilliant new idea may act off to a rocky star, but keep going. Two of Winters, and it's Dak Shoe Dogs. Um, procrastinating and worrying what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. The Three of Summer. And it's Rose Breeze Gosprey. And so these lovely birds. And the message that it says is sadness is part of your life. But you don't have to endure it alone. I like that. The Four of Winter. And we have a ko koala. And the message is throughout thinking things through before making a decision. The five of winter, and it's collie dogs. Your current path isn't leading you towards the happiest possible outcome. So why change it? Six of winter, and we have a rescue cat. And the message is, the challenging time are coming to an end. And you can now breathe a sign of relief. Seven of winter, and we have magpie. Caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables, including non-material resource, such as time or peace of mind. The eight of winter, and it's buntings. It's so easily to convince yourself that you're trapped when you really aren't. And there's the bird with the open cage. Nine of winter, and it's a sea lion. And it says, your worries and fear aren't real. They're fueled by focusing on the negative, which give power to that which you're afraid of. The ten of winter, and it's a Siberian hush doggy. The end of a career path project or relationship brings feeling of mixed joy and sadness, relief and disappointment. And the princess of winter is a seagull and it says think 
is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. The Prince of Winter, represented by a throughout the Drubi horse, and it says, get ready for progress to speed up. The Queen of Winter, and it's the leper, all your life experience have prepared you for this moment of truth. The king of winter is a humpback whale. At this time, it's very important that you communicate clearly, be objective and unemotional, and act professionally as possible. Mm, excellent message. Then the next season we have is autumn. This is the Ace of Autumn, and it's a calico cat. And you could expect a windfall of abundance such as money, timely assistance, a surrenderly meeting, or a rewarding advice. The Two of Autumn is a Abyssinian cat. I hope I pronounced that right. Oh, but he's so cute with his eyes. If you could see his eyes. Mm -hmm. And it says you may be under stress of multiple job or too many responsibility for one person to manage. Mm -hmm. Three of Autumn is a miniature poodle dog. It says your most satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passion, listening to your heart, and doing what brings you joy. Fourth of autumn and it's a squirrel and it says be cautious about living a life of a stream or seeing things in black and white terms the five of autumn is a manatees and it says focusing upon the negative or worrying about money or your career can block your progress the six of autumn is a kiwi and it says, your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts. <coughs> Excuse me. Acquire wise <coughs> loans or receive a, great, a grant <coughs> or scholarship. 